this is part one autocomplete combo as we don't see shop with as well start the studio go to file menu click on new website name the website website name is autocomplete combo box click on ok yes the website is created successfully this is empty website now i'm gonna add a web form to add a web form right click and click on add new item select the web form click on add yes the web form is added now i'm going to design this web form with a combo box control ajax toolkit combo box control first of all i'm going to add a heading to add a heading add a heading a deep tag developer equal to center and heading tag heading is h2 size and text is auto combo box auto complete okay black and add, add another deep tag to add i'll place this combo box place the combo box in the d in this deep tag getting left 10 percent okay now add level control the text of this level control is select item name okay now now i'm gonna add ajax toolkit dot dll in that case add a new tab right click and add tab name the tab tab name is ajax toolkit okay right click and click on choose item click on browse go to the desktop and select the toolkit.dll file click on open and then click on ok ajax toolkit.dll is added and the tools of ajax tool tools are displaying in the toolbox now i'm gonna add the combo box uh, from the toolbox just drag the combo box and drop it in the spx space okay white 260 pixel yes it's displaying perfectly now go to the design and go to the cs file now i'm gonna add a method to load uh, load the data in the combo box so method is void load item name and then sql connection sql connection con equal to new sql connection add reference using system data dot sql client okay it's added now i have to get the sql connection install for the server explorer right click and add connection I put the server name server name is corby hyphen db select the authentication and for username as personal authentication username and password then save password select the database click on ok okay the database is added in the server explorer data connection now let's check the table my table name is item info so let's check the records in the, uh, in the table item info there are many records in the table item name columns you can see i will load item name in the comma box so uh, to get the connection string, select the database and uh, go to the property, copy the connection string and paste it in the SQL connection. Put the password, SQL server authentication password. Now I'm gonna add a SQL command. So using SQL command cmd equal to new SQL command cmd dot command text equal to my command is SQL command is to select all the item item name from the item name column from the table item info okay cmd dot connection equal to con sql data adapter sd equal to new sql data adapter initialize the command cmd now data table data table dt equal to new data table we should add namespace using system dot data. The namespace is added now. SD dot fill dd. Combo box my combo box ID is combo box one. So combo box one dot data source equal to dt. Combo box one dot data value field equal to item name. And combo box one dot data text field equal to also item name. Finally, combo box one dot data value now just uh, call this method in the page load event so if 
not exposed back then call the method load item name okay now let's check the directory with the browser oh cannot find any resource property in the space compile time error we should add to resource manager from the toolbox so go to the toolbox and uh, drag the toolkit receipt manager and drop it in the spx page okay it's done now save and uh, test again yes all the item loaded in the combo box one yes oh it's not auto complete yet to make it auto complete combo box uh, we should click on arrow and in the auto complete mode select suggest and fn yes save and reload again now see yeah, it's auto complete successfully okay thanks for watching this tutorial